Hey guys, Jay here with BTP again. I'm going to show you a couple different variations that you can do with a leg press. Um, obviously, different machines are going to have slightly different uh, plates, different back uh, setups. This one has an adjustable back, so you can adjust it uh, through a couple different settings. There are a few where it's just high or low. Same thing with the plates, right? There are some that are a lot bigger plates, some are angled plates. This one is just a straight flat plate. Um, for the most part, the same concepts apply, except for the ones that are tilted forward. Um, obviously, your, your foot's gonna be extended back a little bit, depending on where you place your feet. So, uh, in terms of emphasis, higher up your feet go, the more the load is gonna go to the hamstrings, just because they're gonna be a little bit more of a stretch position. That's where the seat height is gonna be affected as well. So, if my feet are going lower, I'm gonna need a little bit more dorsiflexion, or my toes are gonna to have to be able to tilt back more. So if you have any ankle issues, try to stay away from the bottom of the plate. Make sure you're a bit to the middle or a little bit higher up. In terms of going out or going in, there is a little bit of emphasis on, uh, on the quads, uh, whether it's lateral or medial. But realistically, in the beginning, um, you wanna just kinda of worry about pushing through and maintaining that lower back or the hips against the pad. Um, later on, whether you want to work uh, vast medialis or lateralis, it'll affect whether you go super wide or super narrow, or you just stay in the center. So, uh, I'll demo this with the seat in a low position. All that the seat height is going to do is it's going to change whether I sit up here or I sit up here. So if you have a lot of tightness in the hamstrings, you're going to want to lower the seat down, unless you want to feel a little bit more of an aggressive stretch, uh, but that's going to be up to you. So if I start with my feet down low, okay, my ankles are going to have to bend quite a bit in order for me to get to that bottom position. Whereas if I bring my feet to the top, okay, and this isn't a very big plate, but if I bring my feet to the top, when I get to my bottom position, my ankles are only at about 90 degrees. Okay. So if I go wide, you can have your feet turned out a little bit. Press down, press up, or if you want to go narrow, feet together, come down, and come up. Quarter reps from the top, press up, control it down, press up. Or, you can also do calf raises on here. All you would do is slide your feet to the bottom of the plate. You're going to want to make sure that where your foot bends, that is on the bottom of the plate. So you don't want just the toes hanging off. So from here, you can keep the safeties on and then press up. So if I'm going from here, my knees are bent straight. They're gonna work a little bit more of the gastrox or the heart-shaped calf muscle. If I bend my knees, you will feel it a little bit more on the calves that are underneath, so the soleus muscle.